gonna talk about goggles. I have some expensive goggles and some cheap goggles, and we're going to compare the difference and answer some of your questions regarding goggles. Okay, so let's get started. You're probably wondering, what is the best pair of goggles out there for me to buy? Every student asks me this question, and uh, I don't have one answer to satisfy everyone because recommending a pair of goggles is like recommending a pair of shoes. Everybody's feet are different. The same goes with goggles. Our eye sockets, our eyeballs, our facial structures are not all the same. So if I recommend this pair of goggles for you, it may not work for your facial structure. It may not work for your eye sockets. It may be uncomfortable for you when you put them on. So that's my answer. There is no perfect pair of goggles. What you can do is just go through many, 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 many pairs of goggles until you find the one that's right for you. That's my answer. I've gone through like tons and tons and tons of pairs of goggles throughout my swimming journey. I could never find a perfect pair of goggles. The, the goggles that I'm wearing right now on top of my head aren't perfect. They're not the best in my opinion, but do they work for me? Yeah, it works for me and I'll explain why. So these are like Chinese no-name goggles and I bought them because they look cool as you can see and they're mirrored and it feels good on my face. Now you're probably wondering how do I get rid of the fogging up of goggles or how do I stop water from leaking into my goggles? Well, here's my answer to those two questions. If your goggles fog up, they suck. Just chuck them in the garbage, okay? Save some time, save the hassle, save the stress, and just get a new pair of goggles. That's it, okay? Find ones that don't fog up, find ones that don't leak with water. Now you're probably wondering, oh, what if I use like, like dishwasher soap inside my goggles? Or what if I use my tongue and lick the insides of my goggles to stop them from fogging up? Well, do you want to spend every session doing that? Do you want to waste your time doing that? Do you want to look like an idiot doing that every time? My answer is your goggles should be working for you, not the other way around. Don't work for your goggles. If you're constantly licking them, putting dishwasher soap or toothpaste or whatever like household gimmicky trick that can stop them from leaking or fogging up, you're wasting your time, okay? Just chuck them and get another pair. Move on. You'll find that comfort is very important when selecting your goggles. I used to have like really cheap goggles, really, really cheap, like really crappy goggles, and they would hurt my ears. I mean, hurt to the point where they would like cut off circulation or like slice into my earlobes or the sides of my, my head. That was because I used to tighten them really tight. And the reason why you probably are seeing people that tighten their goggles a lot is because when they dive into the water, you know, they don't want their goggles ending up like this or flying off their face when they perform their dive. My answer to that is to not dive in the water, okay? You're not supposed to be diving in your local pool anyways. It's, it's a very hazardous and risky move. So what I do in every pool is I just enter the pool using the steps or I just slip in. That's it, that's all you have to do. You don't need to show off. You don't need to prove yourself that you're a great swimmer by diving into the water, okay? That's not gonna help anybody. And as a lifeguard, speaking from my experience, when I see anyone trying to perform a dive, I just like, my body goes into just red alert mode because I'm just preparing for the worst case scenario. They're gonna like smash their spine into the floor. So don't dive, okay? And once you don't dive, you don't have to tighten your goggles, all right? So these goggles, you can see the straps are very loose. They're so loose, in fact, that I can do this and this very comfortably. I can do this and then I can do this very easily. If you have really tight goggles, you can tell by the sockets, or the, the shapes that the goggles make around your eyeballs, okay? You'll see these giant lines around. That means your goggles are too tight on your face. If you see these giant circle like raccoon eyes, I call them, after swimming, using your goggles, that means you're tightening them too tight. Loosen them up, okay? Make sure that they're loose, and then you can do this easily, okay? Pull them up, pull them down like this. This you see right here is a very popular swimming goggle brand, okay? Made by Speedo, they're called Vanquishers. I'm gonna try them out for you for the first time. Which one is better? Well, we're going to find out right now. As you can see, they got some sticker on top. 
So take the stickers off. They look pretty cool, right? right. So, put them on top. Like this. Okay. So, I can tell right away that this shape is very small, as you can see. Very compact compared to this. It's a lot more room in my eye socket. Try them up. They feel pretty good on my face for now. But that goes with every new pair of goggles, just like when you put on a new pair of shoes, they feel they feel fine in the beginning when you're testing them out, like pat, 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 oh, that feels good. But later on, after thousands of hours of swimming, they start to sh reveal their flaws. <gasps> but the one thing that I notice, first off, is that this part right here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's, uh, there's kind of like two lenses, the, the front lens and the side, and then there's kind of like a side, like, border. And this, I don't know if you can see that line. That's what I'm talking about. This line on both sides at the ends, are, they're pretty distracting for me. This one, as you can see, has a lot more room on the inside. So you see, it's like a bigger, bigger eye socket here. So it reaches much, it has much more space compared to this guy. Actually, I can fit this guy inside here. <laughs> this guy has one giant lens, but this guy has two lenses. As you can see, this, the main lens and then the side lens. And I can tell right away, this is distracting. I don't know if you can see the mirror, right? The mirror here is brand new, but this mirror is, has been, been wearing out. I've been using this for about a year now. So I, if you can see the reflection, yeah, this one has, is brand new, so the reflection's better. This one still has some, but it's wearing. Overall, I'm still happy with this pair. And if I had to choose one right now, the Vanquisher versus this guy, I would still choose this guy. This cost me about 30 bucks on Amazon, but yeah, God damn it! see this? You can see it from the outside. See this lens here, and then there's an angle here? This is annoying, okay? I see two, well, I see four windows. Two here and two on the side, which is distracting. Versus this one, it's just one, two. Two windows here, as you can tell. There you go. The most expensive is not always the best. And you've got to just try out several pairs until you find the right pair of goggles for your face. And I'm going to stick with my old pair of goggles, but I'll keep playing with the Vanquishers for a few more sessions and see how I feel with, about them. But. My gut says, keep the stick, stick with the old ones, okay? I hope this video has helped. If you want to learn how to swim, click the link below. Sign up for 7daysim.co, my online swimming course, where I have hundreds of students that I teach online. And join our Facebook group, take some action. The water and the weather is nice and sunny, so get out, get off your computer, and start swimming now with me, okay? Talk to you later. Bye!